So here we have a uh, 2008 Chevy Colorado. This thing is uh, a little bit cool. It's 4x4 and uh, four doors and everything, but it's got what I think is one of the least reliable engines ever created. It's the five-cylinder GM. So this one has the 3.7. I think there are three different displacements. Uh, one of the most common and notorious being the 3.5. Uh, so this one right here, I got very cheap. Uh, somebody owed me some money, and uh, we ended up just doing the deal where he paid me off with this truck here. So I'm gonna crank it up so you guys can <laughs> hear what it sounds like. It is uh, pretty bad. Really inside, it's not bad, it's just dirty. Um, this could be a really good truck if it just had a good engine in it. Uh, cool little short bed, I mean, really cool um, utilitarian little vehicle. Let me get the camera set up in the tripod here and uh, we'll crank this thing up. We're gonna see if this thing will start. It's pretty bad. Not exactly sure what's going on inside there, but I've heard these things have issues with uh, valve guides. So I'm wondering if it dropped a valve. Uh, it definitely has a cylinder or two or three with zero compression. Uh, you can kind of hear when you turn it over. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pull off the intake here and pull out the spark plugs. See if we can notice any physical damage down inside there. We may do a compression check. I don't know. We may just go straight to pulling off the valve cover and kind of seeing what it looks like underneath there. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna set the camera up in the tripod and we're gonna take this thing apart. All five spark plugs are out. Uh, I think this is one, two, three, four, and five. One is pretty wet, kind of smells like fuel. Uh, two, four, and five all look okay. Three is also very wet and just smells like raw fuel. So um, interesting, we don't see any physical damage on the spark plugs. Um, so maybe we don't have any catastrophic engine damage. Um, I really don't know at this point. I was kind of expecting to see just like, you know, uh, into the spark plug blown to bits and pieces all over the place. So uh, the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and compression test the cylinders, even though, I don't know, I don't really have high hopes for them. And if they test out okay, then I'll pull the valve cover. Ugh. And we'll check and see if any of the uh, valves are stuck open. Okay, 
here in uh, 10 revolutions, 118 psi. This is cold, of course, so we're going to get spec readings. Let's go all the way to the paradigm side. Let's move on to the next one. Ten revolutions again. Ooh, quite a bit higher on that one, we're at 145. Okay, let's go for one cylinder because I know it's messed up in some way. So we're going to improve. Two paradigms, we'll get there. All right, so we have nothing there. Complete dead hole on number three. Zero compression at all. So we definitely need to pull this valve cover and see what's going on. I'm guessing definitely something with the valves. All right, I think I'm to the point where I can almost get this valve cover out. I had, there was a plastic piece here and a little bit of insulation that I kind of tore to pieces and uh, spent close to an hour getting that thing apart just to get to three little bolts. One there, uh, one in there, and then one back there. So I'm going to get those things out and then we can finally, hopefully, get the valve cover off. There's no way to valve cover off without breaking something or pulling off the intake. Valve cover is finally off. We can actually take a look down inside here. So, um, back here, I think that cylinder is probably okay. We know number one is okay. Here's what I noticed on cylinder number three. Look how that valve spring is pushed down into the head. And you can kind of see the metal mushrooming out around it to the left. Um, that cylinder is doing it too. That one's not as bad. So, kind of hard to tell because oil's in the way, but that one is how it's supposed to look. Nice and uniform around the edge. Um, that one's okay. Not exhaust valve. But number three is where it's the worst, and you can just see where that whole thing is just getting pressed down into the head. So um, even when the cam is in the closed position, when the lobe is, is up here, uh, that valve is just sticking so far down into the engine that it's not building any compression. So um, yeah, I, I don't even know that I'm gonna mess with pulling the head off. It is uh, such a huge job on these engines because um, the front cover and all that kind of crap I don't know if we're gonna LS swap this thing, or uh, yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'm lying and I will pull the head off. But anyway, that is what I wanted to uh, find right there, kind of figure out why this thing has low compression. I don't know what we're gonna do with it next, but stay tuned and maybe we'll do a video on it. <laughs> 